I'm BK Reddy, author of English Tank. See, I want to tell you that, you know, people are suffering with English, uh, despite studying English for several years, they are not able to speak in English. The reason is, uh, when it's not happening, having done for years, we need to understand, we are, trying in a, we are studying in a wrong way. Had it been in a right way, people would have become fluent. Take uh, like, you know, uh, when you see, there are many examples. Uh, how languages have to be learned. Uh, take an example like Suma is not a Telugu speaking girl, she is a Malayali girl. Today, uh, you, you must have seen on small screen today, she, she speaks wonderful Telugu. Do you think she has learned Telugu with grammar, having learned vocabulary from books and all, what we have been trying to do, uh, learning English? It's not like that. See, we need to understand, see, in our educational institutions, what we are doing is, we are studying English like science or social. It can't be, it can't be done like that. Science or social, we study for understanding, for knowing certain things. But English is a skill subject. It has to be learned by doing it. It is similar to learning cycling. It is similar to learning playing guitar. It is similar to learning cycling. Can you think that uh, you can learn cycling or swimming from books? It doesn't happen like that. See, learning a language is not just a mind skill. It's a neuromuscular skill. Both mind and body should work in coordination to become good at it. That is the reason we know so much of grammar, we have acquired so much of vocabulary, but that can't make us fluent in English because it doesn't happen like that. It is not just a mind skill. It is both neuro and muscular skill, both body and mind need to work together to become fluent at any skill. You know, this is not an exception. No, there are people who learn languages just like that naturally. See, we have people in Hyderabad who have come from Gujarat, Rajasthan and other places. In no time, they became fluent in Telugu. If you check their Telugu, they don't know anything. They don't know reading, they don't know writing and grammar is a far big thing. You, take, you can take me as an example. I speak Urdu well. When I go to old city for shopping, I do entire thing in Urdu. Oh, batao, ye batao, oh, jada bol rahe, kam karo. All that I speak in Urdu. If you check my Urdu, I don't know, you understand that I don't know anything. Neither reading nor writing and grammar you don't need to ask. So here, you need to understand how language have to be learned naturally. And uh, since this is missing in our study of English in countries like India, people have been suffering like anything for no reason. So if uh, like uh, if you start doing right things in no time you can become fluent in English. I conduct six day programs and four day programs, and uh, uh, I, I I I conducted many batches where by the end of six day program people became very fluent. It happened because they learned in a very natural way, like how we learn other languages across the globe. Thank you.